Alright guys, it's Linux once again. Today I'm going to share to you how to properly use the bend function, the bending and the pitch sensitivity in Cakewalk Pro Audio 9. Alright, now for this example, we're going to use a song that has a bending track. So right now, I found a song from Natalie Imbrolia. The song is called Torn. And towards the end of the song, there is a guitar uh, solo. So that's where we are going to focus there. Okay, so what I'm going to focus right here is this part where there is a bend from the guitar from the overdriven guitar all right so this part right here let's listen to it okay so Let's double click on this guitar by going to the piano roll. Alright, now here's your guitar uh, track. The guitar started the note from F and then going to Do, but the note here says it is B flat because the editor of this MIDI just bent it from B flat to C. So that is two steps bend. Now for this song, I don't think that is pretty accurate because the song from Natalie Imbrolia is actually bended from Fa all the way up to Do. So they, I think they are using some slider to the guitar so we're going to simulate a sliding guitar all right now what we're going to do is delete this one and we're going to use this note right here we will just extend this note so we're going to use this note as our f bend to do for us to do that let's use the function here it's called rpn and here comes pitch bend sensitivity to do a pitch sensitivity let's put some value here before the note okay now you see this we're going to see the real value of this little line here to the event view click on the event list here here is our pitch bend sensitivity let's go back a little bit so how many steps are we going to take from f to do so let's count one two three four five six seven that is seven steps in a pitch bend the value for each step going up or going down is 128 that is the value so let's do the math we can use our calculator so 128 multiplied by 7 you'll get 896 so go back to your event view change this one to 896 enter all right close this window and then so there's the value here you can see that it is just a little line okay let's go back to our wheel function 
and let's play it. Yeah. It works, but I think the bend is way abrupt. So let's change that a little bit dramatic like that. So let's play it again. Okay, now for this line here, let's put some neutral value on the wheel. Let's let's put the bend value back to zero by pointing your cursor right in the middle. There. Now you can see that it is zero because it has some little uh, circle in the middle. Okay. So your bend now is reset. Let's get ready for the next bend. Okay. So the next note is this. The first note is here. The second note is like this. So from D, one, two, three, four, five. So that is five step. All right. So let's go back to our RPN, to our pitch bend sensitivity. Then let's put another value here. Okay. And then let's do the math again. 128 times 5, you'll get 640. So let's go back to our event view. Here, pitch bend, 640. All right, and then exit. So this note is in C, so let's move this up a little bit to D, right? And this one, let's delete this one. Extend this note a little bit. There. And then go to our wheel. Okay, let's delete this one. Here. Then our line. Like that. A little bit late. Something like that. Okay, so one moment, we're going to remove some modulation here because delete this one. Because it doesn't feel right. Let's play it again. Okay. Now for the rest of the note, we're just going to let's put some marker here. We don't need those notes anymore. So we can just copy this event here by dragging the bar. And the rest will be highlighted, including the event data down here. So let's copy it. Copy. And then. Delete this one. So here is our marker. We're going to paste right to this point. So paste. Okay. Let's drag it back 
Let's move it a little bit to the left. Oh, sorry. So, let's play it again. Okay. So let's put another a zero here. So the band will reset to zero. This last note came a little bit late. Let's drag this back a little bit. Okay, then another piece. Copy this again, copy, and then paste here. Let's put another zero. right so that's how you put your proper wheel and your proper pitch bend sensitivity so guys if you have a question you can drop your comments right down below there will be more tutorials coming soon again this one for those who are just learning cakewalk pro audio 9 so i hope you like my video please give it a thumbs up 